Hello parents, my name is Nisha Kilpak and I am going to be the new principal here at Valley View starting this next year. Um, I'm really excited to be here. I've heard so many great and wonderful things about the school. I've met many of the teachers, um, a few of the PTA parents, and um, I'm excited to be a part of this community. A little bit about my background is I have been in education, I believe, 15 or 16 years, my background's in special ed. Um, I also have a six-year-old son that has autism. And so um, if you have any questions concerning special ed or anything like that, I hopefully can answer those questions for you. I also, um, I live in Farmington. Um, I was an assistant principal in junior high for a lot of years. And then I spent the last four years at Hannah Holbrook Elementary as a principal there. And now I'm here at Valley. So things are crazy with COVID and the district has sent out lots of information letting you know kind of our plan. Um, I'm hoping that the plan they sent out will still be the one that is going to be working in August. But what I have learned is that we have to be flexible and things change weekly and even sometimes daily. So let me just go over a few things of how, um, what things will look like here when school starts in August at Valley View. So um, the first thing is that students will be coming to school and they will be wearing a mask. Um, one thing that we know is that when, lo when lots of people come together, COVID will be here. So COVID is going to be in our schools. Um, we just can't have this many people coming every single day and not have the virus here. So we want to try to protect our students as much as possible. So have them start practicing now wearing a mask. Start 15 minutes a day and then each week increase the time. Um, so that they are used. We don't want the first time they wear a mask to be the first day of school. All of the teachers and all employees in the school will also be required to wear a mask. Our back to school night is going to be very different. We are doing a digital back to school night to try to avoid crowds and people coming into the building. So that is going to be on August 20th. We will send a link. We'll have a welcome video from me and Mrs. Horsley and then we will have each teacher will do a video introducing themselves, touring the classroom, and then giving you any information on um, classroom management or supplies that your student might need. The first day of school, as of right now, we will not be having parents come into the building. We will have assigned areas where each teacher will be around the building. You are able to come and take your student to that teacher. You can get a picture with the teacher. We will have the Pledge of Allegiance, and then we will ask everybody to come in, but have the have we will ask the students and the kids to come in, but we will ask the parents to please stay out in the parking lot um, to avoid everybody coming into the building. Um, one thing about the mask, if you, uh, I just talked about, like I said, that the state is required that students wear masks. If you go to, I found some masks at Target, that children's size masks, they're um, two for $4, and I just bought a bunch for me and my son so that we can switch them out every single day. Um, I'm kind of treating the mask like underwear. We switch them out every day and we wash them every day. So um, we have a small school. Our school is old and we have a lot of kids that are going to be here. But um, just know that we're just going to do the best we can with physical distancing. There's no way that we'll be able to meet the CDC guidelines of staying six feet apart. Um, but we will just do the very best that we can for the physical distancing. Some things that will look a little bit different to let your kids know is that recess is only going to be 10 minutes long and um, grade levels will be assigned areas on the playground and they'll need to stay in those assigned areas and they'll rotate so they're not in the same place, but we have to try to keep people spaced out as much as possible. With COVID being in our schools and possibly some of your kids being high risk or bringing that home to some people that are high risk as a parent, you have the right and the option to do online schooling. Davis School District has a great option for online schooling. Um, you'll need to make that decision by August 1st. Um, I believe they sent out a link, but I can also send you a link in the email um, so you can let the district know if you want to do an online option. There is not an option to do online and um, attend school part-time in elementary. In secondary, you can do that, but not in elementary. You've got to commit for at least a term um, see how it goes for a term, and if you don't like it, you can enroll, but they're doing it term by term. You just can't go back and forth in and out. If you are going to do the online option, if you wouldn't mind calling the office, give us your name, your kids' names, and letting us know 
um, what those options, what you're going to be doing as far as staying at home so that we can look at our numbers. Um, we have some numbers that are already fluctuating and so we will have to even out class lists and then we will um, put those class lists out on August 14th so you can see who your the kids can see who their teachers are. On August 3rd, we will, I think it was August 3rd, let me just double check. We will, yep, August, August 3rd or 4th, we will send an email out to our kindergarten parents, let them know if they're AM or PM so you can arrange for um, carpooling or daycare that you might need. Um, but again, we are just looking at what our numbers look like to see after that August 1st for who's doing online. Something else um, for you to consider is that we have, usually every year schools do fundraisers or try to earn some money to provide for different activities. Different, I've been at other schools where you use it for different technology. Um, and then PTA also does a fundraiser to help support some of the activities that go here. These are usually two separate fundraisers. PTA fundraiser to help support some things at the school. And then we also have um, our school fundraiser where we can get more technology, um, do some incentive programs and other and other things. And so we the district suggests that we keep those separate. And with COVID, we don't want to be sending out kids to sell items or anything to that effect. So we are just asking for donations. More information will be coming from that. But please understand that the PTA will have one donation probably at the beginning in August. And then um, we will have a separate donation. The school will have a separate donation, um, hopefully, that you can be able to contribute um, in both those arenas to help support the kids. And so we can try to do as many fun things and rewards as we can. Unfortunately, we can't do assemblies. We can't do field trips. Um, and so we got to try to come up with some other creative ways to help make some fun and positive experiences for kids. That is all I have for you guys right now. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. Um, our office hours are Tuesdays from 8 to 12. Um, please stop by at any time and come see us. Come say hi. Um, oh, one thing I didn't get to talk about are volunteers. I apologize. Um, we are still going to be having the parent volunteers into the building, but under um, there's some restrictions and what that looks like. But the first one, you don't need to have a background check. So they've taken that away, which was a big deal last year. You are required to wear a mask. Um, we will do a temperature check in the office when you come in, and um, we will ask you a series of questions to make sure it's safe for you to be in the building. And lastly, we would ask that none of your small, younger kids come into the building. Um, we just want you to come in, and if you can find daycare, that does count as extra volunteer hours if somebody's um, watching your kids. Um, but we are going to ask that the little kids do not come in the building um, while you are doing volunteer work. I know that is really hard sometimes, so maybe this might be a time or this year why the COVID's going on where you ask teachers of things that you can possibly do at home um, to help volunteer for the classes. So that I think is where we were at. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call. Mom. Thank you so much. This is my son. Come Mom. say hi. Hey, Mom. Can you say hi? Hi. Okay. Sounds good. Hold on. I'm doing a video. Mom.